Slivery, scaly, scary serpents found in St. Lucia were brought for show in the third international and venoming snake bite and one health symposium. Communication specialist Universal Health Coverage UHC Jade Brown elaborated on the extent of snake bite management in St. Lucia and the importance of the symposium. We have over 23 professionals here in St. Lucia and the aim really is to speak about snake bite management. Now snake bite management is something that really afflicts a lot of St. Lucians. Just last year alone there were over a hundred snake bites reported in St. Lucia and about three deaths. Um, so it is important to the Ministry of Health, it is important to the government of St. Lucia to provide these measures and provide these workshops so that um, officials, including doctors, nurses, forestry officers, um, people on the field, farmers, have the knowledge as to how they can coexist with the federalists because, uh, because it is an endangered species here in St. Lucia, um, and also how they can manage snake bite. Snake bite management forms part of the essential package of health services under Universal Health Coverage, UHC meaning that care and treatment for those afflicted would come at no cost. According to communications specialist Jade Brown, a robust community awareness campaign is set to enhance education on prevention and access to care. Without the education and without the awareness, they are fearful of it. They are unaware as to how they can coexist with it. Because we find with the forestry department, they tell us do not kill the federalists because it is an endangered species. So how do you empower um, the farmers to go on into their farms and you know do their daily work without that level of fear? But with an awareness of the snake, with an awareness of the its habitats and where what it is prone to, what attracts the snake and how you can deal with it once you come across a snake within your, in your farm or your home area or your environment in general. Assistant Chief Forest Officer Pius Haynes highlighted that the three-day snake bite management symposium served as a crucial platform for direct engagement and knowledge sharing among those impacted by snake encounters. Recently, based on our uh observations we are seeing um, federalists and even boas in areas where we had otherwise not seen them before and so persons you know are concerned the community uh, members are asking questions some of them are complaining and so one of the um, one of the ways that we can help the public is by providing information so education is one of the key um, factors that is needed when it comes to um, to to snake um, safety and also coexistence. So we're looking at education. Apart from education, we have um, safety, safety in terms of um, safety gears, personal protective equipment, and also um, you know how to handle federalists and powers in the wild and so on. Core areas like millet, ancillary, denary canneries and prale were identified as prime habitats for the foodiness. However, Haynes noted a troubling trend. The venomous snake has been appearing in locations where it was previously unseen. And this we tend to attribute to you know the lack of farming in particular. Back in the days we had a lot of banana plantations in almost every nook and cranny of St. Lucia you had bananas. But now this has far gone and then these areas that were on the plantations have now been converted into forest and you find that um, the federalists are colonizing these new areas they are venturing into these new communities and also we find that um but of course our population is increasing and um you know there are new developments new housing projects are, are, are being undertaken in different areas and this too can help contribute to the conflict between and yet, well, not just the conflict, but the encounters between uh, federalists and humans. Officials are hopeful that the invaluable information shared will prove vital in equipping stakeholders with the knowledge and resources needed to manage and prevent the dangers posed by snake bites. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.